New body cam video shows how a police check on a man in a park turned deadly. The footage that has a has his family calling for criminal charges. The police killed my brother in the same manner that they killed George Floyd. The traffic stop ends in tragedy. New information on the moments leading up to a crash that killed two innocent bystanders in San Jose. And the CDC easing outdoor mask rules. We break down the new guidelines and exceptions. Uh, first time in a year that we can walk without a mask. Can I take my mask off? And one of the biggest Bay Area water districts officially declares a drought. The first request for homeowners. Good evening to you. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Let's get right to Ken Bastida in the newsroom with that newly released body cam footage in the Mario Gonzalez case. Ken? Yeah, Elizabeth, Alan, uh, about two hours ago, Alameda police released that chest cam footage that they say shows Mario Gonzalez's family. That They showed Mario Gonzalez's family yesterday. A warning, though, the video is a bit graphic, and it begins with officers approaching Gonzalez at the end of a dead-end street last Monday. They speak with him for about 10 minutes before attempting to put his hands behind his back. He resists for several minutes before officers take him to the ground. As Gonzalez continues to struggle, one officer positions his body over Gonzalez at times, but it's hard to say how much, if any, weight was used. And then, after about five more minutes, Gonzalez loses consciousness. Mario. Well, the officers continue to work on Gonzalez for several minutes until the paramedics arrived. They also administered Narcan. Gonzalez later died at the hospital. The police killed my brother in the same manner that they killed George Floyd. There was no reason to detain him, let alone kill him. The APD took a calm situation and made it fatal. It was painful to watch the violence and disregard for his humanity. So now the family is demanding an independent investigation into the actions of the three officers involved and into their training. They also want the officers' names released. In a statement, the city says that it has, in fact, launched three investigations, two criminal and one independent, adding that it is, quote, committed to full transparency and accountability in the aftermath of Mr. Gonzalez's death. The city also offered condolences to Gonzalez's family.